Hello my friends, we're going to solve for the heat of reaction or the enthalpy of the reaction for this chemical reaction here using bond energies. And it takes energy to break a bond and there's this much energy stored in each one of these bonds. So if you have a mole of HH bonds, so Avogadro's number of H bonds, it would take 436 kilojoules to break all those bonds. So we're going to imagine putting in energy and breaking all of the bonds of the reactants and then forming all of the bonds of the, the products. And to do that, we're going to use this equation here, which I'll discuss how we got. So the reaction enthalpy or the heat of the reaction, aka equals to the sum of the bond energies of the reactants minus the sum of the bond energies of the products. Okay, and the reactants, it takes energy to break a bond. So when we sum up the, all the energies to break all of these bonds, we'll have to put energy into the system. That's why this is positive. Positive means we need to put energy into it. But this negative sign here means energy is released when a bond is formed. So if you imagine two atoms coming together, they create a bond because that puts them in a lower energy state. A bond is formed, which otherwise a bond wouldn't be formed if they didn't go into a lower energy state. So they go into a lower energy state by forming a bond. That means energy is released. And since this is the energy stored in a bond, then this is how much energy is released every time one of these bonds is formed. That's why it's negative. Okay, so we'll add them all up. So first we need to break these bonds of the reactant. So we're going to break four CH bonds. So four times now, each CH bond has a bond energy of 414 kilojoules per mole. Plus, we have a CLCL bond we need to break. So that's 239 kilojoules per mole. Kilojoules per mole. Minus, now, put a big bracket here. Always put a big bracket because you don't want to miss uh, distributing this negative sign inside. Now, what bonds do we want to form? We want to form three CH bonds. So three times each CH bond has a bond energy of 414 uh, kilojoules per mole. Okay, and we have a CCL bond. Each one has a, a bond energy of 339. So 339 kilojoules per mole plus we want to form an HCl bond. HCl is here, so 431 kilojoules per mole. 431 kilojoules per mole. Close our brackets. Okay, so we'll add that all up in our calculator. 414 plus 239 minus big bracket. 3 times 414 plus 339 plus 431. Close brackets. All looks good. I like these calculators where I can see what I could type. Negative 117. So negative 117 kilojoules per mole. That's the heat of the reaction or the reaction enthalpy using bond energies. So what this means is that even though we had to put energy in to make the bond, overall it was negative. So we got more energy back. Energy was released overall when this reaction occurred. We put energy in to break this these bonds, hypothetically, but then more energy was released to make the bonds than to break the bonds. That's why this is negative. So energy would, as heat would be released. Uh, so this is an, an exothermic, an exothermic reaction. Great. Right on everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some value from it. Hope this helped you, helped you and uh, good luck in your exams and check out my other videos. I got like an onslaught of so many videos on thermodynamics and other areas of chemistry, also in math and physics as well. I appreciate you stopping by and see you in the next video. Cheers.